Hey, Richard. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Um, different homeless family uh, members of ours had a question for you. Yeah. Um, people who are on prescription methadone program or morphine program, are they able to come here and be in the tent city? Uh, we're a clean and dry facility, and as such for now, uh, that's not something we're able to help with. Uh, in the future, when we have better resources, I'd like to see us uh, expand to have the ability to help people in that kind of way. Not yet. We're working on it. Okay. So if I know, for example, one fellow who is on either the morphine or the methadone, I think he's on methadone, he's on a slow taper. Yep. He's been working for his family uh, for some time off and on. He's been interested in coming out here. He's what you call high-functioning um, by prescription on yep. a taper. Would someone like that be able to come out here if they're able to take care of their own needs to get back and forth to their to their drugstore for their prescription? Yeah, not at the moment. Okay. Hopefully in the near future. Okay, yeah. cool. So when you're talking about support systems, like, and just to help answer, before we do that, I'll ask the church question. A lot of people yeah. on the street believe that there's sort of a, a, a religious need here like people have to do church and have to be Christian is that true yeah it's not we're not a faith-based organization it's not a religious organization we allow that if folks have that as part of their life that we try to help facilitate their ability if they want to go to church on Sundays uh, we have a moment of silence for instance prior to a meal and if they wish to pray in their faith then that's their cool. moment too cool. um, but it's theirs it's cool. not ours at all sweet yeah I got you back there I lost you for a second because okay. of the light um, that helps answer a lot. And the other question was around work. Um, some people believe that you have to do certain work or you can't be here. Other people believe it's what you're able to do. And can you talk about how you're adapting and changing the charity model? That you're not oh, a charity sure. model, that you're kind of a... Yeah. yeah. Um, as, for, as for the work, we are a farm and we are a community and we're building a place where uh, people have a warm, safe dry place to sleep. Uh, they get three meals a day, and they're part of the day-to-day -day farming of. Um, so yeah, people are expected to help with preparing meals and cleaning up after meals mm -hmm. and whatever. We have to, we have a garden that we're growing and um, to have vegetables to feed people and so forth. Uh, so to be able to contribute to those kinds of things on a daily basis at their capacity. Sweet. And so wherever they're at in the moment, and certainly when people come straight to us, they're still struggling, have a lot of struggles in their lives. So we have expectations that are uh, adapting to where they're at in the moment. Yeah. Um, but that's also part of the beauty of the project that we have a farm. We have uh, acres and acres and acres where we can grow more vegetables. We have our own farm market. That allows us to be far less dependent on government funding, be far less dependent on on, on uh, charity, on donations overall. Yep. So to reduce that dependency and be able to do the work as effectively as possible from our participants' perspective, that's that's uh, key to being uh, yeah. as effective a place as we can, we can possibly be. Yeah. So in where I've heard that a term called that everyone has a place in production, that it's not a charity model means that people are asked to chip in, that you know we take yeah. ownership of things and lead in our own freedom by taking ownership and helping out with dishes, helping out with whatever people can do. And I know that when I first got cleaned up and sobered up, it was really hard for me to, to do those social yeah. things because I lost them over years of surviving and running from the, yeah. the police who criminalized people who use different pain medications. So it's good to hear that, that people know that they can come here and meet you and meet the different folks here. And I find that there's different people here who've been homeless. You have, I saw five tents right now. I'm just gonna stop for one second.